Zooming in reveals tiny details that are easily overlooked under normal circumstances. All you need to get shots like this one are a few basic items you probably already have lying around at home, like some cooking oil and a glass cooking dish. You can do this technique at home. All you need to do is prop a table up next to a window and place a glass beaker half full with water on a colourful piece of paper or card. You can even make your own colourful gradients in Photoshop if you like. You'll also want to use a dedicated macro lens for this as it will allow you to get closer to your subject matter, in this case it's the oil drops in the water. You can tell a lens is a true macro lens as it will have one to one reproduction ratio written on the barrel. This means images are captured at life size. Set your camera to its aperture or AV mode and then go into the quick menu and dial in the widest aperture, such as f4 or 2.8. Use an ISO of 100 to begin and increase it a little if needed to get a fast shutter speed of around 125th of a second. This will stop blur being captured in the oil drops as they move in the water. You'll also want to activate the 2 second self timer mode to avoid camera shake when you press the shutter button. Before adding the oil, put a drop of washing up liquid in and stir to help the oil be better defined circles. Wait a few minutes for the washing bubbles to subside and then carefully add your oil in. Using the live view mode, press the zoom button twice so you can see the bubbles clearly. Now set your macro lens to its 1 to 1 reproduction ratio and move the centre column of your tripod up and down until the bubbles look pin sharp, then lock off the tripod. Now press the shutter to take the picture. Swirl the bubbles around every now and again so you can mix them up and get new formations. Spend a few minutes capturing a variety of images on different backgrounds and don't forget you can crop in a little in Photoshop if needed to make your bubbles appear larger.